Is there anybody else who wants to... Oh, no. Keep silent, or we're dead. Arias! I was right behind you. Great. So, uh, surely you must have a plan how to... Brother, listen to me. That's your plan? I came here for your own sake. You can kill me if you wish. But first, answer me this. Has your Archpriest tried to contact you since you've embarked? I'm sure he promised you reinforcements. But have you received any? He's right. Troops have yet to arrive. The Archpriest has been silent. I don't understand. Fenrir? Silence, Lurkis. Don't let him trick you with his heresy. Our brothers shall be here soon. Siege to Shadinar. We shall crush the elven vermin, as the Archpriest has ordered us. Did he? We shall rip their precious eyeballs from their pointy-eared skulls and take them back to Tebris, where they will serve the most noble brothers, producing the most powerful Arcoli ever created. Arias! You misguided fool. You shall never take Shadinar, because no one is coming. Adramalek is dead, and his foul plan has died with him. Fenrir, what is he talking about? It cannot be. The Archpriest is dead? Lies! All fake news! I'm in command here. We continue the mission. Your mission is over. You have no purpose here, but I can give you a new one. All of you are welcome to join me. I can take you back home. I will teach you to live amongst the humans. Silence, traitor! Tebris is large. Both races can share it. Join me, and you shall finally find peace. A peace like the elven dogs have found. Your lies won't fool us, traitor. You are here to save them, not us. You dare to speak of peace? You should give them a taste of their own peace first. And if you won't, then I will. Master! I will teach them true peace. I will. No! Fenrir will destroy the elves. He has it with him. The weapon? Back in Freehaven, I've studied the maps of the peninsula. Yes, the old... Ro no, Dry River. I think he's talking about the dry riverbed of Grammardan, Avernian's tributary. It's parallel to the ancient road. If the as you wish. No talking. Arias? Sure.
stop. What are you doing? Completing my mission, human. There's no mission left. Yes, there is. It was at your Malak's will that the elven kind be purified. As I stand, this Oculus will fly to fulfill it. That was too close. You call that a delay? I don't know what my aunt's priorities were, but my issues are not... An ancient gate. You mean a magical portal? That might be exactly what I need. Safe, but far from peaceful. I'm sorry. But we're not quite done yet. I spoke with my father. Go back to those ruins you spoke of. Find Arias and give him this letter. Tell him we're going with the back. Do you trust me? Good. Then go find
You're back! I've sensed that horrible Oculus explode. Me? Uh, that. We were talking about contacting some of her old friends if things ever got really ugly. But she doesn't know that this gate has a problem. Back in Freehaven, I asked... The elves called them traveling orbs. Each founder had one to open the gate under his or her power. Each of the orbs is magically bound to the blood of it. Unfortunately, yes, but getting one might be easier than you think. I've spoken to Lattice, and he told me that they were ordered to use the gate to return to Tebris after the mission is completed. They've also explored the dungeon, the one below the ruined tower of Gromsh, right there. He said that they were also ordered to look for the orb that belonged to General Gromsh, the Orcish founder. They were even given a special casing. I wish it was that simple. Each of the orbs is magically bound to the blood of its creator and will serve no other master, burning anyone else who tries to touch it. Only the Founder's descendants could operate them safely, and each orb requires a mortal born of a specific bloodline. We lack such a person. We'll worry about the bloodline problem later, since I'll need an orb before I can do anything. One or two are... That's it! I can't explain it. But I feel like I could use the orb. You will see. The connection I'm a... You will understand one... Grumptious orb seems to obey me. Get ready. Where are you sending me? You'll see. Dafar's letter. So, 
It's a him, and Darfa's dagger is enough to make him trust me? We have no choice but to try. But wait, I feel... No! Something's wrong. The portal... You might have heard him. Just go see Darfa. She should be on the bridge. I'll wait. It would be pointless. I would. I have a theory. I or. Finally, you're back. What? Something? Great. Just great. Now... We will. But let's meet at the palace. Just past that bridge. Good sir, may I by chance intr- Dr. Men- I was supposed to meet him at the bridge Not this time. If-
finally! I already did. Now we'd better speak with my father. And that's about it. We massively underestimated the threat. Thankfully, it's gone now. We've done what we came here to do. Not yet. There is something else. I suppose Darfar mentioned some of this when the humans and the orcs left during the Troubles. Left or...? Run away! Taking my brother Lalandor! The traitors! They stormed Lalandor's tower in the Shurian forest. They made him open the gate and then fled through it. Even with his powers, he had no choice. Their leader, Terramon, was a great wizard. He'd visited other dimensions. He had a refuge built outside time and space, and that's where they escaped to, after abducting His Majesty's brother, Lalandor, our martyr. But that was in the past. Now is the time to forgive. Our races belong together again, and you are the only one who can help reunite us. But why me? Before Terramon and his traitors fled to the other side, he cursed the gate. Only those with human blood can go through it. You're the first human we can trust since the Troubles. Meet Shagir in the Sharian Forest. Darth Vah will join you both soon.
Yes, the human. You're having a what? A oh, all the planets. There's a man in Freehaven. Lights that, um... I don't know him. Please hurry.
What took you so long? It used to be when my ancestors lived here before. Lord Dalnir brought them on Avran using this gate. Father told me he tried sending soldiers through for weeks while the- Most were torn apart. We deserve it. Believe me. Especially as elves with elven blood. My comrades guarded those ruins, but some humans made it through the gate nevertheless. I've seen them on the other side. With one of the traveling orbs father gave me. Before our beloved princes returned, the only living member of Dalnir's bloodline beside the king. Don't blame him. He couldn't reveal a state secret. You better focus on your. They'd need to use one of the orbs, just like I will. Your job is to provide them with. Orbs. Once you're on the other side, find Terramon, the Arch. Yes. Yours is called the Orb of Lauren. We shall be... Hey, I've never done this before. Are you sure it'll work? The gate is only dormant, Princess. Just put the orb on the pedestal. Don't worry, Darfa. I'm sure it's gonna be okay. Come on. Our brothers are waiting. Fine. Let's hope that this old relic still has enough energy. Looks like it does. Incredible. I can almost feel its power. The one in my pocket? Is equally powerful, yes. Just give it to Terramon. Piece of cake. Just going to another dimension. Through a cursed port. Shagir, is it safe? As a human, the curse kills only the elves.
stable ground, breathable air. That's good. And this ain't. Thank you. You're the first... I'm, I'm sorry, I just had to... So, which part of other side have you come from? The other world. Antalor. Yes. It was named Antalor, wasn't it? Do I look like one? My ears aren't pointy enough. <laughs> Wait, wait. Everyone will want to know this. Come, we're not far from the settlement, isn't it? This. That's the place. I don't live here. I live near... Just head into the village. Our family creatures somewhere in our Uh, impossible. Excuse me? This one's really rude. Let's hear him out, Gorana. He's... You mu... The gate? Uh How could I not? Legion... Still, it's nice to have that curse named after me. I mean, at least my name has been preserved for... Wait, how long exactly? Taramon, of course. And now he's mocking us? Incredible! Maybe if I hit him hard enough... Let's be polite to our guest, Gorana. King Tal- Did you hear a single word we just said, Other Cider? Tal- We were all- He did. He wasn't even there. The decision to move against- The Troubles? Is that how they call it now? It was a damn bloody war- He's off- Gorana, let him speak. Home. Wait, what are you saying? Whatever made your journey possible? With the orb of Dalnir, yes. Yeah. My orb? Do you really think that's why? Come on. Are you a proud orb? Seeking purpose? Lady Threat.
Sandstone. That's because you're standing on me. On me. Well. The havoc. What the th you. What took you so long? It it's time to leave this cursed place. You're right, Gorana. Let's see if it works. Opening the gate now. Seems to work. What's that sound? Is that normal? You hear it, people? Something's terribly wrong. That's impossible! What? Terrible! Watch out! Damn it, Seven Hells! I'm okay. It was a trap! This wasn't actually the Orb of Lauren, was it? Just a dressed up- It was to be set off when the false orb was activated, no doubt. What? It's obvious. He's their agent, Terramon. Clearly all- You think it's possible? All I know is that orb was supposed to open your bloody gate. I had no idea it was going to explode. You expect us to believe that you knew nothing? Is he kidding us, Terramon? I'm sorry to say, stranger, but that does sound unlikely. Come on, use your heads. If I was going to blow you up while opening the gate, why the hell would I be standing next to you when I did it? Any one of my warriors would give their life if needed. You've proven that you're dedicated, not innocent. Dedicated? I saved Terramon's life! Oh yes, after you realize that the blast wasn't big enough to kill us as well. What? You're not just an assassin, but a lousy one at that. Have you decided to try again? Was your mission to kill both former co-rulers of Talonor instead of just one? She's got a point, stranger. Letting you go after what you've just done. I'm sorry. Terramon, I saved you. I'm afraid Gorana's right. It proves nothing. I disagree, Terramon. That's the very fact that proves our guest is telling the truth. You? Teacher, we were not able to find you. We should have waited. Forgive us. This human brought us a gift from home. We were eager to test it. Poison gift! We should execute this traitor. I think the teacher should do it, Gorana. The bravery of this is Dead? Well, the food around here is nothing like home, but I'm afraid the reports of my death were exaggerated and martyred. Why would my friends kill me? Enough of this gibberish. Why are we still talking to this traitor? Why He's no traitor, Garana. I'm almost certain of that. Calm down. And you, other side...
Ah, oh, other side. How did you get here then? Only a member of the House of Lauren could touch his orb and... Ah, far. Blue. Both of them. No, you... Oh, it's... Before Fallon became my brother's wife, she and Terramon were lovers. They were meeting in secret. Until I decided to step down, relinquishing my lordship. The House of Dalnia was then my brother's responsibility, and he had to propose to Fallon. She had to accept him, although Terramon was her only love. Terramon couldn't stand it. He begged her to reconsider, but Fallon's family was persistent. She told Terramon they couldn't have a future together, but in a way, it was too late. Unbeknownst to both of them, Fallon was already pregnant with Terramon's child when she married Talinor. My brother was convinced the child was his, but when she gave birth, the truth surfaced. Talinor tested the girl child, touching her face with the orb of Dalnia. Harmless to an elf of Dalnia's blood, but when touched to Darfar, it left a scar. At the same time Talinor discovered the truth, the Great Civil War broke out. My brother decided to keep the girl's true identity secret and sent her away. Fallon objected. When he told her that the ship with Darfar on board had sunk, she was broken. As he was leaving the chamber, Arbelan, Fallon's sister, walked in. Although already in love with my brother, she tried to help calm Fallon down. She talked for hours, trying in vain to reach her, but Fallon was inconsolable. Unable to accept the loss, Fallon made a terrible decision. Arbelan was the last to see her alive. Now, other cider, you know the truth. Darfar is half human, a descendant of Ar She wasn't. How many times do I have to repeat this? Sat me and I be and it's the <laughs> Oh